Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx. Welcome to the penultimate episode of Outer Wilds. It's been a while. It's been a long journey. And we're finally almost nearly there. When I started doing Outer Wilds, I had 40 subscribers on YouTube. I was really new to this. I didn't know what I was getting myself in for. And now it's nearly time to say goodbye. This is a milestone for the channel for many reasons. It's the first full series I'll have completed. I'll have completed Outer Wilds, which is a journey in itself. And I feel like as a community, we've come through a lot. We've grown, we've got to know each other. I'm recognizing names and comments. I can continue conversations with people from videos from long past. And the Discord is growing as well. We've even got members now, which is something that I never even thought would happen. So thank you to everyone. Thank you for everyone for supporting me through this. And thank you for supporting each other as well. The internet's a scary place for some people. But you guys have genuinely made this welcoming and enjoyable. And I think that's one of the things about Outer Wilds. Everyone gets something slightly different from it. As a content creator, I'll have a different take from it than you guys. I've had time to process thoughts and feelings. I can watch back episodes and pick up on things that I missed. I have you guys telling me things or hinting to things or toying with my ideas and it's such an interactive experience. Whereas I th think if I played this game on my own, I would still enjoy it and I would get the same kind of message. But the journey wouldn't quite be the same. Now, as far as the journey goes, this is the final Smell the Pines episode. So it's going to be quite slow paced. What we're going to do, we're going to find a few things that I haven't had the chance to look at yet. We're not going to get a chance to look at everything, so I apologise in advance. But to me, that's part of the attraction. 100% in games is something I enjoy every now and then, but for me, the journey is knowing you've missed things. And that makes it more beautiful, and it makes the things that you have found more meaningful. What we're going to do, we're going to go and have a look at the waterfall, on Timber Hearth and try to find where that goes because I found that in like the first handful of episodes and I was like don't let me forget that I'm going back there one day and one day we shall we are we are now there's also I saw something behind one of the houses in Timber Hearth so I just want to look behind there I don't think there's going to be particularly much but I just want to say I've been and I've seen might give the Quantum Grove another visit just for the hell of it because I didn't even realize that the poems change over in there but after speaking to Gabro we found out that they actually do and it's done so on purpose uh you, someone I can't remember who I apologize recommended I talk to Chert at different times during the loop so we're going to go do that and last but not least go have a look at the hollow lantern because for some reason it says that we haven't been there but we have we've literally landed on there so that tells me there's something to go and have a look at so we'll go and have a look. There's going to be things I've missed, and I'm sorry. I like, I'm not doing the uh, high energy lab stuff. I might in my spare time, eventually. But for me, I like science, but for me, it's more of the emotional journey that I'm going on here. And then we've got the finale. I'm going to load up this game one more time to record. And then it's all over. It's done. The journey's done. The feelings will have been felt. The laughs will have been had. The tears shall be shed. And I'll be saying goodbye. But that's okay. It's gonna be okay. 
I am feeling a lot of mixed feelings about this, I'll be honest, so I apologise for the delay in getting this episode out. I loaded up the game today and I nearly cried. I'll be completely honest, just hearing this music again made me feel things, and it reminded me that I'm not going to do this many more times. I feel happy that I'm going to finally be able to join the Hall of Fame that is the Outer Wilds community, like, officially. I'll be able to say I've done it, I've completed it, I've finished it, I'll be able to do a Reddit post and everything, it's going to be fantastic. But then I'm never going to be able to feel this again. But in the meantime, thank you for your support. Thank you for those who have been founders, who have been here since the very beginning. Thank you for joining me on this journey, no matter when you're watching this. The finale, I can tell you a little bit about, but not much. There's going to be people that you want me to see and things you want me to do. I will be honest, we're not going to have the chance to do everything and we're not going to see everyone. There's a handful of characters that I feel it is only right to go and see. There's at least one character I know for a fact I'm not planning on going to see. And some of you are not going to be happy with that decision. But I promise I'll make it up to you. There's two characters or two things I need to do. Two places I need to visit, two people I need to visit that don't have any weight in the story but have a lot of personal weight and those who have seen the entire series will know why one of them in particular means a lot to me. But I think that's enough of me trying to procrastinate playing the game. Thank you for the love, thank you for the kindness, and let's go smell these pines one more time together. One more deep breath to the counter, and I, I don't know what I want to do first. I feel like while it's quiet, we'll go and have a look behind that house. And then we'll do the waterfall, we'll go spelunking. Um, why am I running to the ship, you might be asking, because for once, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the suit on. I'm still recovering from the DLC. And those who are maybe getting here and going, what? DLC? Follow it through. There is a full DLC playlist. Trust me, it's worth it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. Also, spoil. if you haven't seen the DLC, spoiler alert. Pause this video now. Okay, now they've gone. I'm sorry I didn't see the footsteps. I saw them in, in the edit and I felt just stupid and dense. I just genuinely didn't see it. So I'm really sorry. Right. I wish I could go in these Harthian houses. I want to see the houses and I want to know who lives where. I, I'm guessing someone somewhere will have done some kind of study into this. If not... Hold on to your horses, because I definitely will. I just want one episode where I don't feel like sobbing, please. I don't know who these people were. And I don't feel like I know enough 
to comment. I just... I hope they got to have this journey. And if they didn't, then I'm so sorry. I like it here. This is quiet. The, I like that the music isn't playing. I like that they've made this a space to just think. Things I didn't get this with dad there's no stone there's no memorial there's there's no one place i can go and see him So I hope for anyone who knows these people and anyone who these people mean things to, I hope they come and see them. Because you never know how lucky it is to be able to be remembered in a place. Especially one as beautiful as that. Now, let's go put a smile on my face and go swimming, shall we? And see where this water goes. You guys have been telling me to be fair for quite a while. Let's go and have a look here. The music still hasn't started and I'm so happy about that. This is so... quiet. And pretty and quite apt I think for this end right this could quite comfortably kill me no way <laughs> there is stuff to see Oh my god, is this like a fault? This is a geyser. This is an actual... <laughs> Are you readable? No. <sighs> Be free, sardines. Swim away. Oh my god. There's a whole biome under here. This is where we came from. The other thing, I keep hearing references to the water of Timbalath, you know, the, this whole idea... Oh my god, there's so much. This whole idea that we evolved as Harthians from fish. But I hadn't seen any bodies of water that I would think would be big enough. I love these kind of bottles. My granddad and my nana, they used to, when they had a house, well, they're one of the houses they used to live in. They had a bunch of these kind of things up uh, around the ceiling on shelves, and they had loads of different styles and shapes and sizes, and I actually quite like them. They're actually really comfortable to hold as well. I don't know if anyone here has had the pleasure of holding anything like that. Now, I need to be careful not to get swept up by a geyser. Right. I do, however, want to go on this slip and slide. Hope this will be a bit more fun then oh, never mind <sighs> oh. <laughs> okay 
This is my new favorite hobby. <laughs> Hello world. Now, back down we go. Hopefully before this activates again. Right, where are we going? Hopefully this is, a, this is definitely more fun than the interlopers slip and slide. The interlopers slip and slide made me feel sadness. The most profound sadness. Right, where? Where am I? Is there anything to see? Don't believe so. Nothing to see here, kiddos. Time to go. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. After closer observation, mining sites 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of this cave's pools. Oh, I've still got the time freezing up. So unfortunately, we'll have to mine one of the other sites. On the other hand, new life. This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about sites 2B? It shares similar formations and strata. Where's 2B? That sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate if mining sites 2B proves safe for this native species? We'll move our work there. That must be the other mine where they actually harvest the majority of the materials from. Site 2B is safe, Kalea says we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effect on life here. I was watching them once during a rest and the hours escaped from me, they're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. They remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor Malore once told me about, from when our clan used to travel across this universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. I... Oh, look at the fishies! I'm so glad that we came. I'm so glad that we're here. No, 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 no. I am not done. I wonder what's down. I want to go downwards, please. Oh, wait, it's taking me that way anyway. Oh, no, we're back to the beginning. But that is sadness and disappointment. <sighs> Can I rise, please? I will wait patiently. This this is good. This is what I needed, I think. I needed a bit of just fun <laughs> before things get serious again. Right. What was next on my list? I mean, I guess we can have a quick look around here. I don't know. Now we go Hollow Lantern? Hollow Lantern. Or we could maybe go see Chirts, because I don't think we've seen Chirts towards the end of a thing before. I think we've only really spoken to them at the beginning. No, we'll do Chur in, an, in the next loop. We'll do Chur in the next loop. We'll go to the Hollow Lantern, I think. Let's see if there's anything worth looking at. So, the thing is, right, ship log. This is going to tell me DLC stuff. Okay, there we go. What do you mean there's more to see? I forgot to go back there. We've got to go back there, guys. I know I'm not strictly speaking 100%ing the game, but if that's all I have left to look at, I am going to be incredibly upset. Uh, map mode. 
hollows, a lantern. Right, yeah, we're definitely still missing things. Don't mind me pulling faces. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> that is why I felt like I was going to sneeze. Right. Let's go and have a look. It feels like it's been a while since we've done any great exploration in the solar system proper. Like, it feels like it's been so long since we've been doing the DLC that I've just been waiting for this to come back here. Now, why does that look more volcanic than perhaps the last time we were here? Is, does it get more larvary as it goes on? Because I, I was under the impression it would probably do the opposite. Then again, I don't know anything. Alright. Let's have a bit of a look. Actually, oh... I don't really want to accidentally cook my halfling. Just keeping an eye out. Seeing if there's anything interesting in any of these volcanoes. You beauty. Right, I found where I need to go. I found where I need to go. I found where I need to go. We're gonna land the ship. Here. Stay. Please. For the... Stay. For the love of all things holy. Stay. Alright. Where was it? Where was it? I think it was that one. Please don't blow up. Okay, timed it practically perfectly. And there's no my stuff to look at. Come on. Oh. Is now inhospitable. Hang on, wait. That feels better. Increase volcanic activity detected. Increase solar activity detected. What do you mean now? Uninhabitable. People used to live here? Friends in the Timberhearth mines, the last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. We'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up. You must be fired up about crafting the Ash Twin Project's protective shell. Oh wait, this one first. Yes, the idea of an encasement that Supernova proof, however briefly, has kindled my curiosity. My gratitude, I imagine we'll have we'll also have an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Ash Twin project. Will it be more than we initially thought? It will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. So what did they used to do? Here, so this is the mine. This is the mine. I didn't know they used to live here. That is... How long were they living here? But we know it was long enough to warrant, you know, being part of the, the Ash Twin project, right? Oh my god, it's spinning just a little bit. 
So if they, they were here for when the Ash Twin project was starting to be constructed. So... This is only gone. I mean, I say only gone. It's volcanic in like the past 200,000 odd years. Which is fascinating, actually. That looks shinier than I remember. What is that? Is that home? I think that's home. I think that's the timber hearth. Just one real shiny boy. Oh. Oh, is this one? Right, one person suggested, actually. Right, I want to get creative with the last few minutes of this run. Oh my god, I can't. I know. I'm aware. I'm trying. I don't know why leaning is going to help me. So, someone suggested trying to let the ship blow up because we haven't actually done that yet. I've been really good, right? Yes, we've done it. So, I've never actually had this blow up before, right? So, you know what we're going to do now, don't you? I need to damage this. Good thing I've got my suit on. We need to cause catastrophic damage to the ship so that I can see what an explosion does. For science. Science compels me to blow up my ship. God, she can take a beating. She can really take a beating. Come on, girl. Ooh. Something is definitely starting to spark. Let's try and land sideways. That was not sideways. Oh, right. I'm going to have to up this, I think. I'm going to have to... Find something else solid or just go really far. Come on, come on, come on. I don't have much time. And I don't want the supernova to get me this time. Tell you what. Ah, that's not handy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I appreciate there's probably easy ways to blow up the ship. I'm just a little bit thick. Let's try getting the observatory again. I'll be honest, that's not what I was expecting. I've, I've killed it. I'm not blowing it up though, we'll blow it up at the end, how about that? Can I steal Rebex ship? I like how they're all just slightly different, like Rebex has the dome on the top. Like you can see, it feels like someone's been playing... Not yet. It feels like someone's been playing... Um, Kerbal Space Program, and they've just gone through loads of variations of it. You know? And I love that. I love that about this. Like, it feels like slight... I can, I can see the iterations. Because then, Chert's, theirs is... 
very much there's like three observatory ports on it, which is quite cool. Ours had one. Less so now. Oh, it feels so strange hearing the full soundtrack, you know? What are you? A little lamp? A little light? I'm gonna go land on that forge. Oh, come on! <laughs> you son of a... Nearly. Nearly. Quick, where's the stranger? Let's let's hitch a ride. What's with all the lights? One second supernova. Oh, that's the tower. That's the tower, right? It's approaching pretty quickly. That looks like... Yeah, this is the tower. That's fine. Okay, you can have me now. I'm done. So, chert, chert time. Apparently, if you talk to chert at different times, you might get different responses. Because chert is the, the Harthian who notices that the stars are going out. And obviously, if you haven't noticed already that the stars are going out, Churse is obviously the character that's meant to be like, look, they're all going boom. So, let's go see Chert. And I'll probably meditate between each conversation, just going to leave it a bit. And then we'll try make the ship blow up. Just to see what happens. Right, where was Chert again? Chert is... Ember Twin. I, I, I think. Chert's camp. Right, let's... Pop that down. Let's go say hello to my favourite egg. That's a lie. Sorry, Chert. There's many kind of eggs and I like most of them. What would my favourite kind of egg be? I think a poached egg is definitely up there. I've only discovered, like, actually having poached eggs in, like, the past few months. Otherwise, a really nice, like, soft-boiled egg, like, dippy egg with, like, toast soldiers. That's what we'd call it in the UK, eggs and soldiers. Um, I love them. Other than that, a good scrambled egg, I think. I like, yeah, most eggs. Let's just leave it at that. Sturks likes eggs. Right. Right then, shirts. Let's see what good fun you have to offer me today. I've missed those drums. There we go. Hi, shirts. Oh, goodness, it's you! Hello, I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. I've got a question for you. Let's have a look. Just saying hi. Oh, no, I found something. Uh, I think I have discussed to them most of these. I don't know if I've seen this one. I found no modern no my transmission saying the universe is dying. You? What? I don't. Uh, what? You mean to say there are modern no my out there in other parts of space, and they believe the universe, all of it, the whole thing, is dying. Currently. Right now. If, if that's true, how could I have missed so many signs? The supernova over there, but I, I... But I've been studying the stars for, well... What does it matter if... Oh. 
I'm very sorry, but I I have to look over my charts. I, I hope you don't mind. Did I just make shirt depressed? I mean, they're still playing the drums, so I don't... I am so sorry, I made shirt sad. I made shirt sad. I made shirt sad. I'm gonna go blow up my ship now. I made shirt sad. Ah. Uh, I f- Ah. Uh, no. Why would- Why would I try that? I'm just gonna try my best to absolutely clang the ship. I feel so bad. I feel so inexplicably bad. I just made shirt sad. I made shirt sad. I swear to God, if the cockpit comes off again, I'm gonna cry. How can I make shirt sad? Why would I? Why would I even think of telling them that? They are. Oh, I should have just stuck with the original plan. I need the back of the ship to go, really. And I don't really know how. I need to, I need to get it to... Oh, I could go to Giant's Deep. That's a better way. Right, right, Giant's Deep. I remember how I did it now. I was electrocuting the ship. God, first I made shirt sad. Now I'm gonna go and electrocute the ship. Then I'm gonna have to go back and make Chert sad again. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I died. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since we've done anything chaotic, to be fair. In Outer Wilds. It's all been quite calm and collected. Oh, I forgot about the thalassophobia. Right, um, which one of you lovely ladies is twisting the wrong way? It's you. <laughs> right. That's fine. Reactor damage. <laughs> Come on. How many chances is it going to give me? Right, so the reactor is on the left side of the ship. Right, so maybe if I... I'm flying half a ship. <laughs> well, let's go finish the job. Um... Science. Then we'll go and actually have a proper talk with Jert. I feel so bad. I made them feel sadness. I'm never going to forgive myself. I'm never going to tell Jert that again. I'm going to let Jert live in just blissful ignorance, I think. Oh, buddy. I'm so sorry. Right. Let's try this again. Don't mention the universe is dying, Sturks. Don't do it. Please. Just don't. Just let them... Let them have their own happy little moments. Please. Oh. If you knew that was going to happen, shame on you for not telling me.
I love this game. I love how your ch choices, like, oh, good heavens! Like a glove. All right, let's. Oh dear! Don't mind me. Oh, oh, oh! Here we go. Up we go. Oh boy! Everything has been pranked. Come on! Oh! <laughs> I've actually been chirped just seeing that. Just seeing us absolutely plummeting down. It's fine, old girl. Not many voyages left. You'll be fine. Let's get the ship. Get the ship, get the suit. Right, shirt. Oh goodness, it's you! No, 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 no. What are you up to, shirt? Hornvels asked me to update our star chart, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. Usually, I'd be fortunate to just see one. Keep an eye on four. Keep an eye, all four, on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. I haven't found anything. How do I know if I've spotted the supernova? They look like extra bright stars to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespans, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if these stars are older than we realised. Just saying hi for now. Oh wow, I can like properly zoom in. Oh, I could do zoom level. Ooh. Ooh. Oh wow. I don't know if I've played around this before. I think I have on occasion, but wow, cool. Right, let's sleep. I was gonna meditate, but I remembered what meditating actually does. That's not sleeping either. Let's doze off. Let's, let's do what, say like 10 minutes? I love the ember effects, and I know that's something real simple, but I do, I like it. Yeah, we'll get to like eight, well, we'll say eight minutes, Let's try them again, and then we'll do like five minutes and towards them near the end. I want to see if they pick up on the fact that our star is going supernova. Because that could be quite interesting. Cause, um, I mean, Chert is the, Chert is the chart guy. Chert is the person with the star knowledge, right? So surely Chert should notice that the sun has started going from orange to red right let's wake up now still very much orange hmm i you're back say so, have you noticed anything unusual about the stars lately seem things seems had to put this off i've seen what 10 supernova already 12 it's already in the double digits and that's, you know, not normal, not normal at all. Just saying hi. Oh wait, no, was there a thing? There was, I think, one of those questions. Why are so many stars going supernova? I have no idea. Massive stars go near supernova when they reach the end of their lifespans. So it's possible that the stars are older than we realise, or maybe our models are wrong and they don't live as long as we expected. Honestly? I'm not fond of either option. If our charts are wrong, what else is wrong? And our sun? No, I, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I, I'm probably overlooking something. That's it. I just need to collect more data. Why is Chirp actually turning into... I, I mean, I, I did the Chirp voice once, so I have to stick with it, so I apologise. But now I'm starting to feel... Sad for Chirp. Because they knew. Every single time. 
when we redo this loop every single time chert is going through these emotions they're noticing something is inherently wrong and that they're powerless to stop it now right so now it should be red oh no you're back so yeah okay so that's the same I think we need to wait till it's like near the end. I don't know how much longer the end is. That's all I feel comfortable doing. I'm gonna wait. And then I'm gonna wait for the end music and see if that's like the trigger. The stars, they're all dying. There's been too many supernovae for it to be anything else. We're next. Do you understand our son by heart's name? We're next. What do you mean we're next? It's stars. You see, all the other stars are dying out. Why do we have to be born at the end of the universe? And our son, it star charts. Why? Why did I want to update them so badly? I didn't have to know, but no, oh no, I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have. And now our son is about to... Is about to... Oh. I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. Why did I leave this one to last? Why did I leave talking to Chir to last? I was quite happy with my little ride through the water, but no. I had to listen to poor old Chirt. Struggling with the realization. I suppose it's strange hearing another character come to the same realization that we have. You know. No, you know what, Chir, I know you want to be alone, but just this once, let me. Let me stay. Let me keep you company one time. So I think it's long overdue. There's something about knowing that that's the last time you're going to talk to a character.
you know, there's something to be felt. Knowing that's it, that's I'm never gonna see Cher again. Not properly. And I know in a week's time, whenever it is, I get round to finishing this game, to doing the finale, I know that every time I talk to one of these people, one of these characters that I've grown to love and to know, that I've been thinking about non-stop for six months. It's going to be the last time. I'm never going to have that wonder again. I'm never going to have the awe of meeting Rebeck for the first time. I'm never going to have that feeling of companionship with Rebeck. I'm never going to meet Esker for the first time. I'm never going to be able to look at that chair and think my god I wish dad could see this I'm never gonna take the mic out of Gabro again for the first time for being such a chilled stoner I won't say a hi to Porthy or to any of them I'll never see Solanum for the first time again. Because once the finale's done, I plan on putting this game to bed. I do, and I mean that. I mean it. I... When the journey's done, I want it done. 